In this video, I will show you how to upload products from MS Excel to Shopify automatically. So whenever a new product is added in a row of MS Excel, the same product will be created automatically in our Shopify store. So if you also want to automate this product uploading process, then come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is my Excel sheet where me and my team members are going to add the product along with all details one by one and you will see how the same product will be added into the product section of Shopify. But to automate this process, firstly we will have to build a connection in MS Excel and Shopify application which I am going to do with the help of software called as Pabli Connect which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just a two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation. Now once you will reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect firstly you'll have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and then you will have to provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. So I have directly pasted the name as upload products from MS Excel to Shopify automatically. Now simply click on create and then you will find two boxes. So these these boxes are called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application so this is how you need to always choose the applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation according to our use case we want that whenever a new row is added in our excel and the product details are added in the excel row this automation should trigger okay so i have selected the same and further i want that the same product should be created into the shopify application okay so in this way i have selected both the application in this trigger and the action window and now the idea here is first i will connect excel with the public connect and will capture the product details and then I will connect Pabli Connect with the Shopify and will send the product here okay so let us first connect our MS Excel with the Pabli Connect okay so firstly you will have to select the trigger event that is new row in the worksheet okay so yes I want to perform the same that whenever a new row is added this automation should trigger so I have selected the same clicking on connect then clicking on add new connection clicking on connect with Microsoft Excel and then you will have to provide the access of your Excel account okay I have provided this access multiple times so I am going with the existing connection but make sure if you are building this connection for the first time you will have to provide the access of your Excel account and after that you will see your Excel will be immediately connected with the public connect and because we are connected here you can notice whatever the workbooks are available inside my Excel account have started visible here so I am going to select this new product of for Shopify store this particular workbook okay so give me a second let me search for the same that is new product okay alright so here you can notice the same excel sheet so I have selected the same and in the worksheet here we have a single sheet only that is data okay so that the same sheet is visible here so again it has got selected automatically now as soon as I click on this button you will notice that the first row data will be captured via Pabli connect as a response and here you can notice the response is received and now I'll show you the details one by one so here we have the row index number as one here we have the type the product type as mobile the uh, product name as smartphone here we have the line item name the quantity the price the vendor name the product description and the image URL of the product okay and you can find the same detail here that is the product type as mobile the product title as smartphone the line item name quantity price vendor product description and image URL okay currently I have added only few basic information if you want to add more details in this excel sheet you can do the same again it is completely up to you okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our excel sheet and Pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time you and your team member will add any product related detail here into your excel sheet 
the details will be captured via Pabli Connect in every eight hours because this trigger will be checked for the new data in every eight hours. Okay, so in this way you can capture the MS Excel data in Pabli Connect in every eight hours, and after that we are going to send this data to our Shopify application. So the application is already selected. Now I will select the action event that is create a product. Okay, so I have selected the same. Clicking on connect, then clicking on add a new connection, and for the connection it will ask you the admin api access token and the subdomain okay so how you can get this api access token well a dedicated video is provided here so you can actually watch this tutorial okay so basically you will have to go to your shopify dashboard then you'll have to click on this app section after that click on this app and sales channel setting and then we are going to create a new app under this develop apps now click on create an app and here we will provide a random name something like app for excel okay uh, let me also correct the spelling here now i will click on this create app button and this is how an app will be created all right and here you will have to click on this configure admin api scopes and then you'll have to make sure that you provide the read and write permission for the product okay so because we want to create the product in our shopify store so that is why i am searching for product here and here you can notice this product listing option okay so let me provide the permission related to all the products okay so i think i have provided the permission clicking on save and after that i will go to the api credentials and here you will have to install this application which we have just renamed okay so by clicking on this button your app will be installed immediately and in this way you can actually get the admin api access token okay so i am about to reveal this token let me copy the same coming back to the dashboard of public connect let me paste the same and in this way after installing an application in shopify store you can get the api access token asking for the subdomain okay so firstly i am going to open my store okay let me first close it and then i will open my store all right so basically from the url of my store i can actually get my uh, subdomain okay so in my case i have this number as the subdomain okay so i have copied the same clicking on save and this is how my shopify account will be immediately connected with the public connect and here you can notice it is connected okay now it is asking for several details which are actually required for creating a product in shopify okay so firstly it is asking for for the product title now you tell me from where i'm going to provide this details well remember we have already captured these details as a response of our first step okay well remember we have already captured these details as the response of our first step and i am not going to manually copy these details one by one and paste below i am going to map these details okay and mapping is very simple when you will click on this field you will find the above response data here in the drop down okay so here i have the title as mobile okay so i have mapped it now you must be thinking what is the importance of mapping so whatever the details we will map here will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time in next time okay so in the same way i'm going to map the details one by one in all other fields like it is asking for the product type okay so let me open and here we have the product type as a smartphone well i'm really sorry the mobile is actually the product title and the smartphone is actually the product title and the product type is mobile asking for the status well of course it is going to be active asking for the vendor so i'll have to check whether i have collected any vendor related information yes the name of the vendor is abc here you can notice abc is the vendor name asking for the product descriptions and yes we do have the product description as well and in the same way i'm going to provide the details one by one 
one is published is going to be true asking for the published at okay so if you have any date in your excel sheet you can also add that date here in this particular date and time format okay so asking for the option name like the line item option name okay so yes i do have this option i do have this particular detail okay so give me a second and let me map the details in all other fields which are not actually mandatory because i am about to provide the details only into the mandatory fields all right so i have provided the data into the important fields like line item option name is provided the price is provided here i have also provided the quantity of my product and here i have also provided the image url and other details okay now i am about to click on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response and i am really expecting that a positive response will be received and here you can notice the response is received okay so so i am expecting that product must be created here okay so this is my product section first of all i am going to refresh my dashboard fingers crossed and waiting for this product to be created in my shopify store automatically and here you can notice the same product with the same title has been created now if i will show you the details of this product you will find the same pricing as 1499 okay so give me a second this is the same description the same title and here we also have the same image here we also have the same pricing and the same quantity okay so in this way with the help of pably connect or by creating this workflow in pably connect for once you can entirely automate the process of uploading the products from ms excel to shopify automatically but the only thing here is these products will be uploaded in every 8 hours this automation is not going to work in real time so you will have to wait for at least 8 hours but after that your product will be uploaded in your shopify store for sure automatically okay so if you want to access this workflow inside your Public Connect account. I will also attach the link of my two-step workflow inside my description box. So you just need to click on this link and then sign up for free into the Public Connect, and then you will be able to access the same two-step workflow inside your own Public Connect account. That too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pably Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pably.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pably Connect and for the latest updates of Pably Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate to make their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video